What's up, collective? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the motherfucking karmic circus, where we expose all these karmic ass clowns. Now, collective, let me tell you, you see that tent right there? Over here at the karmic circus land, you got all the rights to throw the motherfuckers that's been fucking with you in that tent. Now, let me tell you the people I want you to throw in that tent. And when you throw them in the tent, I want you to put it in the comments. And when you put it in the comments, you will get a shout out. Because we got to expose these karmic ass energy. See that tent right there? That is a tent that I created for all the depressed people. The insecure ass motherfuckers. The, materialist, the materialistic ass motherfuckers go in that tent. Okay? The people who plays the victim, the needy, delusional motherfuckers, you throw them in that tent. Okay, the manipulative, disconnected from reality ass motherfuckers, throw them in that tent. Okay, the jealous people that hold grudges against you, the resentful, hateful, overly competitive motherfuckers, the ones that's prone to violence, controlling, closed minded, all of them, those are the people that you throw in that tent. Okay, um, collective. You know and you've learned not to let anyone drain your energy. You know your worth. You know your value. You know all the motherfuckers that's hateful. Once you put them in that tent, let me tell you. When you put them in that tent, you don't worry about them no more. That's like closing the door in a closet that, that you lock up and you keep that. You, you never unlock it. It's locking the devil up. See that tent... Is, is like the karma place where the, where the clowns wait to be judged, okay? So you could have a, a karmic loved one. You could have a family member. The person you laying next to may, may need to have their ass up in there. You could have a worse neighbor. You could have a sibling. Well, that's family members. Family members, your boss can go up in there. Your uh, co-workers can go up in there. Your apartment manager. Your, uh, uh... The, the 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 car dealership people anybody that you come in contact with that has that has a uh, that has mentally emotionally or spiritually abused you in some sort of way those are the the energies that you put up in there okay um, if you're dealing with the uh, a toxic ass energy someone who leads with force they re react uh, defensively. You're dealing with a, a toxic energy. Okay. Now, when you're dealing with the divine energy as yourself, again, you don't let no one drain your energy. You act with purpose. You lead with quiet wisdom. And you're attentive to others' needs. Okay. You're not threatened and don't need to prove your worth. You're grounded, humble, and self assured. So the people that you deal with that's going to go in the tent is the, is the ones that's the total opposite. Collective. So, Holy Spirit. Collective. Um, also, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. All right? Now, Collective, as you see, I got 1,630 subscribers. I need you to hit that thumbs up button for me. And by you hitting the thumbs up button, that's purchasing a ticket to get back in the karmic service. That's purchasing your way to be able to throw their ass in the tent publicly. You can put it in the comments. I throw their motherfucking ass in the comment. And then the next video or the video after that, you will hear. You're going to have to listen to all the videos. Okay? Because... That's where you're going to hear your, your name shout out. I can't just say at the beginning. Sometimes I forget. But while I'm on the subject, I want to give a shout out to Gables 10, Gables 10. I want to give a shout out to Natasha Duck. Shout out to Stacy Lynn. Shout out to Shanika Tyler. Shout out to Lighthouse Charlie. Okay. Those are the people who threw they karmic energies in that tent. So if you want a shout out, you, you put in the comments, I threw their ass in that tent. Okay? Or however you want to say it. Just let me know you put somebody in that tent. 
Because, see, again, like I said, you got the power here. And you got them waiting. You put them in there. It's like you putting the handcuffs on this person's spirit. They have a nasty... It's not your person. It's the energy that they're carrying that's toxic. So what you're doing, you getting that energy and you putting the handcuffs on them motherfuckers and you throwing them in that tent. Okay? Because these people is bowling strikes at you. Spiritually. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the spiritual realm. See, that tent... Is the spiritual prison. Now, you see how that motherfucker bouncing around and, and jumping and shit? That's because the them clowns is up in there slapping pot. Hey, yeah. Yeah, they tell him how they how they uh how they broke up your family. They bragging and slapping fives on how they messed your car up and they knew you had to be at work at five and somehow they got out there and they fucked your car up and you get you get out there and your car ain't running. Or something wrong with your car, you can't get to work. Throw their ass in that tent. Okay. They're in there slapping five. The, the, the female Carmen clowns is in there slapping fives on how they done broke somebody's family up. How they done stole somebody's man. How they done cheated, you know, made this faithful man cheated. They're like the, the uh, what's that? The, uh, I can't think of her name. Um, that, that, that woman that slept with all the, ce the celebrities. Um, um, the, the pinky porn stars and all the, all of those types are in that tent because see, they clown, they, they, they're clowns. Okay. Now it's, it's, it's you're again, I say, you're not putting your person in that tent. You're throwing the energy. Yeah. The overall energy, the first came card came out. These clowns is losing sleep because this is what they wished for you. They wanted you to be losing sleep, unsure, um, having nightmares and shit. If you having nightmares, um, something stressing you out, get you a, 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 a amethyst, okay? Get you an amethyst. This one has faded because it was sitting in the window. I didn't know. Just when you sit it in the window, it changed colors. Now I've learned, okay? I got, I got a few amethysts. Okay. You see the difference? This one was in the sun, and I didn't put this one in the sun. Okay. And it wasn't actually in the sun. It was like in a window. So just know that when you when you set your amethyst in the window, that it will change colors. It'll get lighter. Um, if you're setting it in there to get energy, yes, you can do that. But don't leave it in the window. That's what I did. So, um, I left that one in the window. This one. And they both was dark purple, so the sun will change them. Just letting you know. Collect it. Okay. So, and y'all don't excuse the, the back of my background and all of that because I, I have to be moving in a few by next month. They just been putting it off, putting it off. I'm, I'm fighting a spiritual war. Um, that's trying to to slow me down on this battle to help y'all. I have another page out there that I had to stop, you know, working on that page because the haters was on that motherfucker. But over here, I got good people, and um, I just I just need you guys to have my back and help me throw these motherfucking karmic clowns in that tent, okay? Because some of them is trying to make you <coughs> lose sleep. <clears throat> Because you're dealing with a, a, you could be dealing with the wounded masculine or wounded, wounded feminine. Um, a bossy, anxious ass motherfucker. Somebody who always, you know, just think they supposed to wear the pants, motherfucker. Okay, so you're grounded, you're crafting, you, um, you could be birthing of an idea. Some of you may be pregnant. Um, you got everything you need and you're being generous. But somebody is out there, see, they wanted you to be losing sleep. They wanted you to be looked at as crazy, unstable, and that's what's happening to their motherfucking ass. Mm-hmm. Some of them is walking around with a knife. Okay. Somebody, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or air sign.
Okay. So Holy Spirit, uh, give me more. Yeah, they want you to be having nightmares. So if you having nightmares and you can't you can't sleep, get your amethyst. Sleep with the amethyst under your pillow. I even have the little necklace, the little chain amethyst. Amethyst. Okay. Amethyst. Towers. I got the, the crystal. And if any of you, if you um, having problems with your money, you feel like your money ain't flowing right, get you a, a uh, pyrite. This is called fool's gold. And if you feel like your pocket's empty or you feel like you're not having no luck, you get you a pyrite. And if you have a, a business online or whatever business you keep this... I gave a big giant one to, to my nail lady, the lady who does my nails. And I gave that, that pyrite to her two years ago. And when the last time I went in there and she did my nails, she opened the drawer and pulled it out and was like, see, I still got you and business is booming. Okay. Y'all know the nail shops uh, make money anyway. But Lanny Nails, she, she to me, she, she do the best nails in Long Beach. So, um... She did mine, and uh, she was like, I do for you. I don't do it like that for nobody else. That's because I have other business outside of this. I have an ice cream business. So I sell ices, I sell ice cream cones, I sell uh, waffle cups and all of that shit. And I always give her one free. So she hooked my nails up for me, and they had all broke off and everything. She's like, you got to start over now. You start over, because they making me move. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get me a new house or something. But in the process, I stopped going to the nail shop because I was moving furniture and shit. That's why this all back here look just it ain't nothing up there. But if you see my other page, my whole my little whole thing was hooked up spiritually spiritually wise and all of that. But it's the devil trying to attack me. Okay. But anyway, back to your reading. I I know I talk too much. Somebody is trying to keep you. They don't want you to get no sleep. They want you to look unstable or somebody may be in a mental institution. Somebody may be uh, losing sleep over somebody in a mental institution. Spirit is handing you some money. You found, you're finna get a blessing, okay? They're gonna give you everything you need because you self-improved yourself, okay? Somebody was hiding something and it came out. You got the devil as the heart of your energy. Here's the energy of a, a female mother who's abusive to her kids. Okay. She, 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 uh. It's like whoever is a Capricorn energy. Now you, you collective, you could have 10 of cups, right? But you got a devil right here. Close to it. Okay. Somebody was making threats. These people was making, you still, this is you, collective. No matter what all these motherfuckers was trying to do, you still got 10 of motherfucking cups. You still got everything, okay? And you still got the ace of, ace of pentacles. So you good. Now these people was running around. Some of them was trying to trying to feed you poison in your mind. Some of them was literally trying to slip some shit in a drink on you. Um, they sending devil energy for you to lose sleep, for you to look unstable because you've seen some shit. You've seen something with your own two eyes. So they want people to believe that you crazy. Okay? Give me more spirit. What did the collective see? Some of you walk downstairs, walk down some stairs, or walk down in a basement. You walk down something and you seen something. You seen some cult shit. Mm-hmm. 
you're seeing some cult shit. You may have seen something and some people in your church doing something that they wasn't supposed to be doing. You've seen some, some doing some devil worship and shit up in a church. Or there could have been fights. Or see, or, um, whatever the energy these people, they was trying to send to you for you to get in all sorts of fights and chaos and conflicts. Some of them wish that you be stuck that you can't get out of a situation. But this is happening to them. Okay. They wish you to be in a mental institution. This is happening to them. And if they're not in a building of a mental institution, they're mentally trapped some sort of way. This motherfucker is walking around. There's somebody out there. This may not be for everybody. It's for somebody. But somebody is walking around with like four or five knives. Mm-hmm. And you may... Don't trust this person. They may wear white. They may, they may wear their hair in a ponytail pull it back this could have something to something to do with somebody around the pedestal it could be a minister it could be a judge on a pet what is it called the uh podium somebody who stands up to that i see two of those out here you may discover something about somebody It's some instability out here mentally. Mental unstable. Unstable. And I don't know who this energy of somebody uh somebody somebody um they wished for you to be stuck collective, right? But look at look at look at their legs. They ain't got none. They like Oscar in this motherfucker. Now let me show you who Oscar is. This is Oscar. Oscar told a divine feminine that he was going to put his foot off in her ass. That he was going to break his foot off in her ass. And Spirit took it. Look. Spirit said, how dare you tell a divine feminine or divine masculine any energy that you, that's divine you're going to put their foot off in your ass. I'm going to just show you I don't play. So now, Oscar, he's he's like, I'm cool on that shit. I don't want to go back in that motherfucker. And this is how somebody wanted you. They wanted you in that tent. Okay? They wanted you to be getting karma. In See, when they inside that tent, they getting karma up in there. They getting their ass whooped. They getting their face busted up. They getting everything that they tried to do to you is going on inside that tent. But see, they so crazy. They celebrating and getting fucked up at the same time. That's why that tent is just spinning and bouncing. Because they some stupid ass clowns. They don't know. They don't know what karma is. They don't know. So who better than you, Collective, to show them by throwing their ass in that tent? Peace.